from beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The scene a few moments ago. Here it is. It's on their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Denver Broncos and the Miami Dolphins. It's an Indian summer afternoon. Perfect conditions for football and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. First down, Tonga Bailoa. Looking left side, and it's complete. We're up and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. time here with Matt Breida and he'll go down here at the 35 yard line and that one was relatively easy to see I noticed that from up here yeah it doesn't take a whole lot does it sometimes you get multiples but I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other hey you did it no you did it they deciphered that one correctly the penalty it's first and five and you got to think offensively all kinds of options here's a toss right side for Brita and this play will be blown up he'll lose yardage back at the 38 that's going to go as a loss of one on first down this defense is a difficult one to prepare for one of the best in the league they'll come at you from all angles and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss second and six From the gun, it's Tua. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 22-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Malik Harrison on the tackle. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Mike Gesicki. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Certainly not what they wanted there, so the football by rule comes out to the 40. 
And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. And the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at the 40. And they'll begin by running the option. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Christian Wilkins on the stop. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. The and they run the option on second down. Locke going to get this out quickly. Sutton with it. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. Lock going to take off with this. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Trey Waynes. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. At the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Running out of the gun here, Brita. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Tua. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Looking to pass to a quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. No 
They'll move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. The Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you. A little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. They'll run with Mostert, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Lost a yard. It's now third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. On fourth down, Matt Nagy willing to settle for three. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there, and that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive. starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Shotgun snap to lock. Over the middle here to Brown. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. He's Brown. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 47-yard line. Now an option play on second down. A quick throw outside by Locke. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Seven yards there and a first down. And the Broncos first down. Pass to Lindsay. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Second and four at the 39 yard line. Again, they'll throw with Locke. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and nine. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. Block working out of the gun. Got a man open. It's Sutton. 
And they move this all the way down to the nine. Portland Sutton. A good pick up there, a 22. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll try the option on first and goal. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Denver. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos draw a bit closer. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. McManus's point after is good, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three. And got his man complete. Pass the 20, 10, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Mike Gesicki with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. It's good to make it 17-7. Makes the score Dolphins 17, Broncos 7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. 18-yard line. Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? But well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. 12 yards there and a first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. They were trying to go to Brown once again. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And the Broncos first down. On the counter, Lindsey. 
And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They run the option here on first and 10. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. And they'll try the option on first and goal. They get this out left, and this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try to run with Lindsay. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. The Miami defense trying to keep him out. They haven't let him in yet. Can they hold again here on third and goal? They'll try to run with Lindsey. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll go for it. It's locked. Flush to his right. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I true. mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Moster. And some room to maneuver. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Moster, 96 yards. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. First and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, 
costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Faking the give to Lindsey. Here's Locke. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Locke. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. Here's Sam Martin now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Fielded at the 33. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a nifty return of 29 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Two are going to throw. And he finds a man in a crossing round. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 22 yards on the pickup there. And the Dolphins are going to get a fresh set of downs. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And his kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Lock now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Broncos. To throw it is Locke. Now they go screen. It's complete. 
And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Looking to throw again on second down. Lock. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 16. 16 yards to the 16 and a first down. the quarterback keep it here on first and 10 off the rpo he completes it and he'll take it into the end zone for a denver score touchdown a 16 yard touchdown and the broncos get a bit closer that's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game and you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second down, Tua. That'll be complete to Breda. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. It's fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball to cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor, and they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 43-yard line. Check, 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 check. 
On second down, here's the option. Here's a quick throw caught out wide. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Throw on second down. This one complete to Jerry Judy. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. yardage. Okay. Third and long, it's Locke. Being chased out left. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Well, Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. And here now the putter, Martin, booming this one away. And it's taken in at the nine. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and ten. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the team right there on the brink, aren't they? Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Dolphins on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. And instead, they want to throw it off play action. He's got his man on the crossing round. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Then we got to give a little tip of the cap for the defense there. Zone coverage, locked it in tight, made it really difficult because they tried the crossing route against it, and it worked for a completion, but you have to know where the sticks are on third down. Didn't get beyond them. No pickup. A 
40-yard punt, no return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. He'll start things with a handoff to Lindsey. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Now it's Lindsey. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. It's a game of five. Block off a of play action. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. That's something we have not seen him do to this point. That's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. On first and ten, here's Locke. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. The throw over the middle, taken in. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And it's third down. Operating from the gun, Locke. He completes this to Sutton. And he'll be stopped short of the first down right around the 18-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They're going to run. Here's Richardson. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. That was fourth and what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down, all right? This and he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Philip Lindsay, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Broncos have cut it Brandon to within a Anderson score. For the extra point. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, wherever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two at the 33-yard line. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. I got you! I got you! 
Two and now on first down. And he'll go underneath here to Burita. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards from midfield here's Tua that's complete to his tight end Mike Kosicki and that play will go nowhere losing yardage back near midfield at the 49 have it as we welcome you back in now, this is a big third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here going right side here and that's complete so fresh out of the two minute warning and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining he's been the go-to guy they needed a big play there on third down went his way it worked out doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball he has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. Watch the pass. Now Tug of Iloa. And he comes back with one complete. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third and three. To throw is Tua. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Bring it. Bring it. Tua on fourth down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. tell you far from ideal conditions to play in but neither offense has had much trouble plenty of points to go around first and ten
That one looks like he'll throw here. And this is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. On second and goal, here's the option. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three.